Hey there, uh, here I have another saver for you guys to take a look at. This is uh, was originally made by um, Nocturne Armory uh, with a full uh, electronics install. Um, it's an Old Republic style hilt. Um, he did the leather wrapping of all the hilt. Um, it, this was sent to me by Sanjuro for an electronics retrofit. Took me a little while to get to. Uh, my backlog's kind of full because I'm a pretty busy guy because of my uh, day job, but. I got to it in the last couple weeks, and um, the main switch was one of the, the things that uh, was holding me up because it's uh, pretty interesting. It's not something I'm normally used to working with, but I fin finally got around to basically gutting the entire saber of the electronics. Uh, the only electronics that are original from the uh, build are, from, are the, uh, the Petit Crouton 2.0. Uh, the firmware on that has been upgraded to uh, the newest firmware uh, from our and um well oh, here let me turn it on it's been about a minute this is the uh the recharge port it's a uh, glued in because it has to be the jedi's limits must always be put to the test okay and this is the main power it's got a nice uh, blue led in it tri rebel running at uh, about two amps and, uh, oops. This is the auxiliary switch here. No anti power off protection. Um, well, a little bit more about the, uh, the electronics that were installed. Uh, the original electronics had uh, two 16340 uh, like. CR123 size batteries that were up in here wired in series um, behind the, the main LED and then the uh, here the recharge the switches were in the same position and this is the aux that was the main power this was a, more of a plunger switch instead of a tactile switch and that's that's honestly what I think I broke on it originally was the the actual the plunger bit that's why I wasn't working properly um, this was still functional when I got it uh, back here was the uh, speaker okay to, to change things around this has got just a regular tactile switch now it's one of the ones I use uh, for stormtrooper savers and then there's another tactile switch here in the back um, the recharge ports in the same spot fortunately it had to be glued in uh, if it ever goes bad it'll be real fun to uh, tear apart and take out fortunately uh, that's just the way it is it, uh, because the uh, the holes a little bit too big I couldn't thread it um, to accept a, a mechanical hold. Um, for the electronics, uh, it's got a tri rebel up here, uh, BB white, white is the flash on clash, and it's got the blue running at two amps. It's got the speaker here, and that goes back through the whole thing. As you heard, it's still quite loud. The power supply I put back here with uh, two 14650s in series, so he's got longer run times. And, uh, that's about it. Um, back here is SD card access. The pommel I had to Dremel out just for um, fitment purposes. It used to be uh, much thicker back here. Um, SD card access is right there. Of course you want to put the uh, kill key in before you do that, but I mean you just putting your finger in there and you can just pop it right out with your finger and change your uh, fonts or S settings as you wish and when you're done you just put it back in and there you go and put the pummel back on wary of it catching okay and once that's perpendicular with this you're um, oops, you're good to go uh, I bet you guys want to see with a blade in it. Oops. The Jedi's limits must always be put to the test. Well, the uh, the heat sink in there is a, a nice copper heat sink from TCS. It's one of the older, um, um, large round copper ones uh, because of the uh, original one. Um, oh, it was kind of weird. It was held in place with a, a an O ring. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But it's pretty secure now. There's a blade stop 
in there. It's really hard to see, but there is one in there that, to protect the lens. This is just a blade I had sitting around. That's about it. Thanks for looking. Hope you enjoy your saber. Later.